be of any assistance? <laughs> no, thank you. All right. I hope this. Oh, yeah. It's been extremely challenging. It's not the sort of thing I normally do. And when I first read it, I thought, well, why, why are they asking me? I, can't, I don't know how to do this. But it was fun to try to work out hard. And you do have to be very inventive, and you have to take some risks and do some very silly things. The 39 Steps is an organization of spies. They collect information on behalf of the, oh, I can't say anything like that. It's almost like a, a small theater company who decided to put on the uh, movie, the movie 39 Steps on stage. I had never seen it. I had never seen it, never heard of it, um, never heard of the novel. And so it's, and I just said to someone else, it's actually, I would say it's become probably my favorite Hitchcock. <laughs> Might be a little biased, but. Oh yeah, you can come in, you don't need to see it because the story is there and it's a great story. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a classic Hitchcock, all the Hitchcock elements are there. It doesn't matter if you haven't seen the Hitchcock film, it really doesn't. I, lots of, in London, we get lots of kids coming to see who've never seen the film, and they sit there absolutely grip. As long as the story works, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm very proud to have been with it, you know, from its, uh, from its North London beginnings to here. It's obviously a huge pleasure for me. In our version of this, you actually understand that this is a group of actors working together who've definitely worked together before and who have relationships. So, of course, our leading man is only going to play one role, and the woman, of course, plays the main women roles. And so it's left to Cliff and I to play all the rest of the, the, um, the, the people in the movie. A big part of what the show is, 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 oh, how are they going to do this scene with only this many actors? And the fact that you have to be one part one minute, and you have to be somebody else you're talk who's talking to him, so you have to do a quick change, get back onto the stage. The whole, the whole joy of the thing is that it's conjured up out of nowhere. There's four trunks, a couple of ladders, a smoke machine, a wardrobe, and a chair. I think this is really kind of a nod to uh, the oldest of um, storytelling and and uh, child's play. You know, on Broadway, we're so used to big literal sets and huge sets coming on and and kind of wowing them with spectacle of the sets. And and we take the exact opposite approach. It's it's really about imagine um, the the imagination and what uh, four actors are able to do with a window frame or a door frame or four trunks, you know, it can become a train, it can become a, a, a hotel desk, it can become a number of things. Uh, this show has got shadow play, but one of the very earliest forms of entertainment. We have drag acting, another old form of, uh, you know, look at Shakespeare, right? And accents, we have lots of accents, loads and loads of accents. I've never counted them, but um, we're told there's 150 roles, and Cliff and I take most of them. 175. Well, you know, all the publicity says they play 150, but I don't think they do. But it depends on how many people you think are in a marching band. I think that's the way you, <laughs> you add it up in the end. It's just a trip. I just think it's a really fun trip, and especially it's, it's wintertime in New York, you know. Why not come to the theatre and laugh?